What's up YouTube? We're out here today at Money Sokol Park in Northport. And let's get a look around at where I am. I'm at this memorial here. So real quick before I read this memorial, I want to go over a list of features of Sokol Park. Uh, there are 11 miles of hiking and biking trails. There are also trails for horses. So if you come out here, you will sometimes see people riding horses out here. Uh, there are several athletic fields. You can look this way and see baseball and softball fields. There's also a soccer field out here. There's a BMX track. And there is a very nice dog park here as well. And there are also two playgrounds for kids. And I'll try to show both of those. But alright, with all that said, let's take a look at this memorial. In loving memory, Morris Money Sokol. If you guys want to read this, you can just hit pause. But alright guys, we're going to get underway and try to get a look at all the features of this park. Okay guys, we've kind of come down from that memorial where we opened up at. There's my car parked across the parking lot there. Uh, from here you can kind of get a better shot of the softball, baseball fields. They're actually pretty nice fields out here. And if we continue on this way, here's the first playground and it has a nice pavilion next to it. We'll kind of walk this way and get a look at the playground. Check out this crow. Let me see if I can like actually, oh no, he's gone. That's a huge crow that was just chilling on that table. There is a, uh, there is a grill here. That's kind of, that's kind of nice. And this playground is pretty basic, but, you know, it's not terrible. Alright, from here, we're going to continue on. This is a soccer field behind the playground. We're going to continue on down there, and we're going to get up back off into the woods that way. Okay, here we are at the next parking lot where I'm kind of going to stay parked as I show you guys the rest of everything there is to see out here. But let's take a look around from here. Uh, this direction across the street, you can see there's, this is the dog park. It's actually fairly popular. Um... If you come here when everyone's getting off of work, later in the afternoon, there will be tons of people here with their dogs. And then we can look this way. This is called Red Barn Shelter. This is just like a, uh, you could have a little gathering here. There's tables inside of it. Let's walk up to it and get a little look at it real quick. And then we'll get started off down one of the trails. So yeah, there's, I mean, there's not much to it, but, uh, you know, it's a place to get out of the sun and eat or whatever. All right, I'm going to pick back up on a trail. Okay, we've picked up what, what I think I'm going to start off with today. Kind of, you can see where I'm parked up the hill. But what we're going to do is this right here, the camera focus. Sokol Park, Main Trails West. We'll just take off down that and it'll eventually, you can see how the trail's gonna lead us into the woods there. We'll eventually come back up out of the woods from that hill right there. Jay guys, I just wanted to say, uh, everyone that's been watching the videos, thanks so much for all the positive uh, feedback last week. That video I think was awesome and I really appreciate everyone that left comments on it. Thank you so much. All right, uh, we're gonna get off down here 
into the woods and I'll pick back up when I find something interesting to look at. These trails out here are quite nice. I don't know how well you can hear that, but there's a woodpecker going nuts here too. Guys, one caution that I'll give about coming out here, if you've never been out to this park before and you're not really familiar with it, uh, there are a lot of trails out here. And it's kind of easy to get turned around and not really know what trail you're on or how to get back to your car. So just be aware of that. Uh, you know, it's kind of easy to get sort of kind of lost, but as long as you stay on a trail, you can always find your way back out eventually. But, you know, you can get in a situation where you're out here for like an hour longer than you wanted to be if you can't find out how to get back to your car. This is pretty cool. I've come down this trail a ways and I've come up to this little bridge thing. So let's walk across it. I love the, the woodpecker in the background too. I think that really adds to it. And this stuff is pretty pretty awesome pretty nice a lot of this uh bridge stuff is didn't used to always be here it used to be like just boards laid down or whatever only in about the past 10 years have they really built up all this really nice stuff out here here comes one more bridge we might as well get across it too This one actually crosses some, uh, you know, just a little bit of water down here. Let's look over this side. Okay, so I decided to, once I cross that bridge, I'll walk down here. This is a nice looking shot right here on the one set. I love that water flowing and all that moss growing on top of it. That looks great. And then right here, all these roots just hanging out in the air. All right, we're gonna keep trucking on and see what else we can find on this trail. Look at this. First of all, through the woods there, you can see kind of a barn building. That's along the path that we're going to be coming back out on eventually. But we'll get a better look at that later. But let's check this out. Look at this fallen tree. I love looking at it from the side. Or you can tell like the, the, the level line of where the ground would have been when it was standing. That's neat. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right, we've come to this sign. So I guess this is the way I'm going to continue going. But this is kind of what I was saying as well about getting lost out here. There's no really good trail maps 
throughout the trails. So that's why it's kind of easy to lose where exactly you are. All right, guys, look at the moss growing on this tree. I'm going to get really close and really let the camera focus up on it. It looks pretty weird. All right, this one right here has it too as well. It's like neon green moss almost. All right, we're just gonna keep it moving. This is cool, I've come to yet another bridge along the way here. So we're kind of at a little creek. But I wanna show you guys this. These trees over here are completely covered in fungus. Looks pretty awesome. All right. So you can see that one there. That's pretty cool. That same kind that's there is on the end of this right here. But then what's interesting is you look on this side and this looks totally different. So, uh, you can see the way that looks, and that's something else. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's a lot of fungus. All right, further on down the trail, this is more the Sokol Park that I remember from when I was a kid. It is instead of a nice, well-built bridge, you had something more like this. So, you know, just be careful when you're on stuff like that and you'll be fine. But all right, we are in a very nice part of the woods here too. I love the way it's kind of aired out through here all right we're going to keep it moving and try to get looped back around i want to show the bmx track i love the way the, the light's hitting through the woods right here i'm just going to take a moment and let you guys look at it for a second Okay, I've come to something definitely worth recording. This is a super old building in the woods here. So, the building is right there alongside the trail. And then if you look behind it, this looks like an old, like, cistern, I believe is what this would be called. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Let's look what's happening over on this little part of it. Okay, so all that water is kind of flowing out of it. I think I see fish in it too. That's awesome. Here's another shot of this creek that I've kind of been, you know, encountering a time or two along the trail. Uh, one thing that you could do out here that's kind of cool, it's a hobby that I'm kind of thinking about doing, is uh, collecting stones. You know, if you ever get into like gardening or whatever, it's good to have this collection of stones to kind of make your stuff out of. This would be a good spot to do it. Just want to throw in a pan across of this little section of woods. This is how I really like it. 
Still got some light coming through. All right. This is kind of cool. After about 30 or so minutes on the trail, we finally looped back out to that shed that we saw through the woods earlier. And what we find here behind the shed is this huge stack of railroad ties. And they are for sure used. You can smell that railroad smell. Kind of like oil. Let's actually climb on top of it. Because how often do you get to say that you stood on top of a stack of railroad ties? Okay guys, after spending a little while back there on the trail, we finally made it out to where I've been parked at. And I wanted to squeeze this in today's video out here in this big field is what's called a BMX pump track. You know, you just kind of go round and round on your bike. It's pretty awesome. And from here, what we're going to do is pack up and I'm going to show you the other playground that I believe was built in the past couple of years. It's a lot nicer than the first playground we saw. And then we'll be wrapped up here today. All right, guys, here we are at the other playground. It's called Mason's Place. It's all fenced in. That's pretty nice. Now let's take a let's take a look at this before we wrap up out here today at Sokol Park. It's got huge trash cans out here. That's nice. The pavilion is very good. These tables all look good. And let's get a load of what's going on at the playground. Oh wow, the, the, the ground out here is very squishy. That's awesome. Yeah, there's not too, too much to see out here at this one, but it is nice. And I think we're going to wrap up at Sokol Park today. I'm going to have enough trouble squeezing everything into one video as it is. But what we might do is come back out here for a part two in, you know, a month or two or whatever. But until next time, guys, God bless you. Have an amazing day, and I'll catch you all in the next video.